Hello and welcome to Donington Park for the Tagiwa Civic Cup's opening event of the 2015 season. Excitingly, championship status has been bestowed on the Civic Cup for this year, which has encouraged still more cars onto the grid. Matt Suckling's been talking to the drivers. Down here with Mark Higginson from the Civic Cup. Mark, you're back again to try out the championship once more, but in a brand new car. Yeah, it's the uh, Honda FN2. Uh, we wanted to race uh, one of the newer cars um, in the series. Uh, yeah, we think it's the car of the future in the Civic Cup. You've been out there this morning, you qualified pretty well. You happy with uh, what you can do in the wet conditions? Yeah, I'm pretty confident in the wet. Uh, the, the car seemed to uh, handle pretty well. Um, as the session went on, confidence grew and I got a few laps uh, down on the board. Down here with uh, Carl Swift, who's this year moved to the Civic Cup. Uh, Carl, we saw you out last year in the stock hatch. Why the move? Um, saw the championship during 750 last year. Looks great, sounds great. Uh, good sponsors, fast cars, good lap times. Sold it for me. Simple as that, really. You've yeah. been out this morning. Um, how, are you, how are you getting on with it? Uh, qualified third by the looks of it. We've not had the official confirmation yet, but third's looking good. And now looking towards the race, you're going to be right up there. Do you reckon you can get to the front straight away? It's a difficult track to pass on um, in the wet, but hopefully it'll dry out slightly. And yeah, I'm going for the win. 32 cars lining upon the grid for the opening round of the Tagiwa Civic Cup Championship. It's Adam Shepard on pole position in his first ever car race as the lights go out. We're on board with David Pukey, who lines up on row 11 of the grid. He too is a newcomer to racing for this season. There's a lot of rookies on the grid here at Donington Park for this opening round as the cars stream down into Redgate for the first time and it's the operative word really the best start looks to have come from Danny Wynn Stanley the very experienced Danny Wynn Stanley from the outside of the front row of the grid but all of these drivers had difficult and testing wet conditions for qualifying early on this morning and they've not improved any for the opening race of the season on board now with number four which is Stu Neal he lined up on the eighth row of the grid and you can see exactly how much or more to the point how little he can see as the field heads down towards the old hairpin for the first time this is a race over 13 minutes plus one lap which will probably only about be about nine laps in these difficult conditions that we're faced with at Donington this morning on board with Mark Higginson then who we heard from before the race the brother of double RGB champion Matt Higginson we saw Mark out for most of last season as well he's up at McLean's now and now he'll climb up the hill towards the high point of the circuit at Coppice Corner, but it is Danny Wynn Stanley leading. Our pole position man, Adam Shepard, is in second place. And then third and fourth, it looks to be Endaf Owens, the former Mini Media champion, and Carl Swift as well, who was a stock catch racer last year. Back on board with Stu Neal right in the middle of the grid that he qualified for that number four car, the 35-year-old facility engineer from Salisbury. He's making his way down the Dunlop straight now. The lead is already at Robert Chicane, and we've had a change of lead because Adam Shepard has got through. Not bad for his first ever car race, but Danny Wynn Stanley fighting back there. Here is the 44 car turning its way through. That is Mark Higginson. Now he put that car third on the grid just behind him. It's number 33, Luke Sajikovsky, the man behind Tagiwa, who is lining up a pass here. He's pulling alongside Mark Higginson now as they head up the Wheatcroft straight. These two cars battling for 6th and 7th positions as they turn now into Redgate Corner. Where is Sajikovsky? Well, he's not been able to go through. Just behind them as well is the number 91 car. 91 being Bernard Galea, the Maltese, who started on row 5 of the grid. Just look at how much rain there is on our camera lens there. Really horrendous conditions at Donington Park. Higginson now with a bit more daylight between himself and Sajikovsky, who's only got one function, functioning headlight. Someone off in the background, that may well be the uh, number 14 car of uh, Andrew Gorgler, the 34-year-old director from Southampton. Meanwhile, the leader's already up at McLean's, and it's Adam Shepard now that's getting away in the lead of this race. There's Gorgler just recovering after his grassy off. Uh, coming down the Crane Curse, it doesn't look like there's been any damage done, though. And a very muddy car, very muddy tyres as well, which won't help his grip for the next few corners. Now here's the battle for third and fourth positions. It's between Carl Swift in 45, who just rides the kerb there. That means he's going to be slower out of the corner. Endaf Owens is going to have more acceleration up the weak off straight then. This is the fight for third and fourth position. We've got Shepard and Wynn Stanley a little bit further up ahead. Swift and Owens slowing each other down a little bit, maybe. 
Smith had three wins during the course of last year's Stock Cats Championship. He holds on to third position here for the moment. The car's been uh, nicely livered since I last saw it at the track day for the 750 Most Cup here at Donington Park. Now down through Hollywood, the Craner curves on board again. We go with Swift with Owens trying to find a way through, no doubt. The Welsh driver behind him down to the old hairpin, the right hander not yet made it through oh and that's a moment that's Sajikovsky that's spinning round in the background someone else is off as well we'll try and pick up who that is but I don't think Luke Sajikovsky is going to go any further at all it might have been the Joshua Lee car possibly that went off in the background there here's Higginson then so he's managed to shake off Sajikovsky now he's had that moment down at the old hairpin 44 car for the man from Chorley and Lancashire making its way along the straight great train of civics and of course not only do they look fantastic they make a wonderful noise as well some of the older cars on the grid you can see there the EG and EJ models good to see a real variety of body shapes in this Tequila Civic Cup Championship having its first round in 2015 it's a good dice that's going on there as well Let's see further back the uh, car of Andrew Hoff his is the turquoise coloured car you can see the tyre marks on the grass where several people have been off and Hoff now it spins out and he's heading to exactly where Luke Sajikovsky was only a few moments ago luckily that car's been snatched out of the way now Andrew Hoff well he's not going to get out of that one I don't think so here's our race leader, Danny Wynn Stanley. He's pulled out something of a gap now over Adam Shepherd in second place. Wynn Stanley, we've seen him race in uh, Civics quite regularly with some success. TVRs as well, GT racing. It's Hoff now out of his car. He realises that his race is over. Look a bit further back, 21 car, which is that of Daniel Webster. One of the drivers from Lancashire. Northwest of England really is a hotbed of drivers in this Civic Cup. He making his way down the weak cross straight up towards Redgate Corner as this race comes towards its conclusion now. He is running there in 10th position. And there you can see the fight going on between number four, which is Stu Neal, and also the 22 car of Nathan Burrell up from row 10 of the grid. Fastest lap of the race now has gone to Adam Shepard. It's a 1 minute 35.94. It's the first time that these cars have raced on the national circuit here at Donington Park. So that will be a lap record, although if it dries out later on, you suspect that it will be an easy target. Yellow flags being waved there down at the chicane. So no overtaking here, much to the frustration, no doubt, of uh, Adam Shepard, who's not going to be able to get past now. The race leader about to become the race winner for the first time in the Tequila Civic Cup Championship. It's Danny Wins Danny that takes the checkered flag. Second place goes the way of Adam Shepard. Rest of the field coming through a little bit of a gap back to the third place car, which I think will be Carl Swift. And there's our top two making their way round on the slowing down lap. Confirmation of the results then. First of all, in class A, and the win there went to Mark Anderson. An excellent 11th overall and David Bukey second in his first ever car race ahead of the experienced Peter Isherwood. Away from the 1.6 litre class and into the 2 litre class Danny Wynn Stanley took the chequered flag by only a small margin over Adam Shepard less than half a second. Carl Swift third and Anne DeFarrens, Sam Hathaway and another David Hunt was fifth completing the top six was Mark Higginson. Our first winner then in the Tigua Import Civic Cup for this year is Danny Wynn Stanley. Danny, what a great race you had out there on track. Did you have a nice battle with Adam? Yeah, it was great. Um, I got a good start. Uh, it was right on my tail for two or three laps at the start. Um, and then he came past. I couldn't follow him for a few, few laps. He started pulling a bit of a gap. It came to some traffic, caught him back up. Um, and then he ended up going off um, at the bottom of Craner. And then I got past him. Luckily, I managed to hold it all the way to the end. I thought he was going to catch me up, but uh, it was only seven or eight laps, I think, so I managed to hold it. 
Adam Shepard coming home second place there. Great little scrap you had with Danny. Yeah, it was good. Um, I got a bad start, lit the wheels up a bit too much. Um, then I can't remember where I passed him now, but um, it was quite quick. Pulled a gap and uh, just maintaining the gap really, making sure I didn't push too hard. And uh, caught the back markers around Craners at the wrong point and it sent me wide. And I couldn't get back across and ended up locking up the fronts and, and going off, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but yeah, I got my head down and, and caught Danny back up but just run out of laps really. Carl, what a great race you had there on the podium for your first Civic Cup race. Did you enjoy it? Absolutely chuffed. Managed to retain the, the starting position. Had a great race with NF Owen, swapped places a few times. His was understeering, mine was oversteering. So he got me on one corner and I got him back on the other um, and finished in third. So, so happy with that, really happy with that for the first, first Civic Cup race. And you two out there having a great scrap that the top two just pulled away? They did. Because of that scrap, it allowed them to pull away. Um, I think they were more superior in the wet as well. They were taking a bit better line than us. And uh, no, good swim. Welcome back. Race two in the Tequila Import Civic Cup Championship. And it's a reverse top ten on the grid. So it's Daniel Webster that lines up first. And Rob Baker is next to him. Row two, Mark Anderson and Bernard Garlier. Row three, Mark Higginson and Sam Hathaway. Fourth row, Andaf Owens and Carl Swift. Row five is Adam Shepard and Danny Wynn Stanley. There's the race about to get underway. The red lights are on. Another 13 minutes plus one lap ahead of us. Conditions having considerably improved since last time out. The race underway then. And the car screaming down towards Redgate Corner for the first time. Baker there didn't make such a good start. It was Webster that got away quite nicely. And look out for Bernard Garlier as well from the outside of the second row of the grid. The Maltese driver who in his first season of racing last year won at Anglesey. He's made a great start around the outside. Someone going wide there. And it's so muddy here at Donington Park now. And watch out for Luke Sajikovsky burning from the stern. Bit of contact there. That's with the 31 car of Anthony Turner in his first car race. There's cars going all over the place through the Craner curves. But Sajikovsky having to fight his way through from the 16th row of the grid. And there's more cars off there. There's one that's almost stationary in the middle of the circuit. Absolute chaos and carnage on this opening lap of the race. That looks like Mark Higginson has gone off the circuit. He's rejoined but going slowly. And Garley has got a huge lead. And look at number six chucking the car around there. That's Rob Baker. He was successful in the opening meeting of last season here at Donington Park. But he'll have been a bit underwhelmed, I will think, by his form in the opening race earlier on. The car that we've lost down there is uh, Leon Thornley, uh, number 26. He is out of the race in the gravel trap at the old hairpin. Adam Shepard trying to fight his way through as well from row five of this top ten reverse grid for the second race of the day in the Civic Cup. Through the chicane, on to the Wickoff straight they go, more or less in single file, although that's not the case further back down the order where there's lots of jostling for position going on in the early stages of this race. I should think we'll get a couple more laps out of it now in these dry and, dare I say it, sunny conditions. Here is Sajikovsky. He started, as I say, on the back row of the grid and he's already up to 21st position. And that off into the gravel trap at the old hairpin in race one. A regular front runner during the course of last season. We certainly expect him to see him closer to the front of the field. Jason Foster's green car that you can see ahead of us, one of the EP3s. Two classes of car. Don't forget in the Civic Cup as well, you have the Class A, which is for the 1.6 litre cars and the two litre cars go into class B. So there's plenty of opportunity for everyone, no matter what type of Civic you're driving, to uh, go home with a trophy. A driver making a move there is the number 89, the Rodron Valakar, Rodron the second of the Maltese drivers, the 25-year-old graphic designer. We saw him out at Anglesey last season. And he's in a new build car, it's an SW built, sport built car for the season, one of the EP3s as we're watching Adam Shepard trying to make up a place here down into the Robert Chicane and it's Rob Baker that he's trying to get past Rob Baker in the uh, area motorsport car, area motorsport brings several of the cars on the grid here at Donington Park in this opening meeting of the season now Carl Swift there gets ahead of Adam Shepard, he must have carried some phenomenal speed out of the chicane to just drive past Adam Shepard there almost like he was standing still. Now it's Garlier that's still got uh, a very decent lead here as we go back on board with his compatriot, Rodron Vella, number 89. Rodron, who did some BMX racing from the age of 12, has also done some 
time attack in Sicily for making his uh, circuit racing debut. He's looking to make a place on the early race leader, number 21, Daniel Webster. He goes through, down into the old hairpin, but he's lost it. He's got it back again. He loses the place, but well saved there, Roger Vella. It looked for all of the world as, he was, as if he was going off onto the grass there. And who knows where that might have ended, because it's very wet out there. So Win Stanley it now is that has taken the lead of the race as we go on board with Adam Shepherd, number 17, off the circuit, back onto it again. Adam, who is dad, Craig, that was successful racing with the 750 Motor Club, who won the Civic Cup. We raced in Stock Cash and Hot Touch with uh, a great degree of success. Not that many years ago, actually. He was racing in the same kind of colours, the white with the purple and mauve stripes on the car that his dad and his grandfather actually raced with a little bit longer ago. Into the chicane goes Adam riding the kerbs onto the week off straight. There's Vela, Daniel Webster. He is now behind him again, so Vela has regained that place that he briefly lost, having uh, taken it away down at the old hairpin. So uh, Rodron is heading in the right direction. He's up inside the top ten, which is a, a very pleasing position for him, no doubt. So that looks like it's the number six car of Rob Baker doing battle with number 20. 20 is Endaf Owens, of course, who was just off the podium in race number one, just pipped to the post by Carl Swift, who will be hoping for a top three finish this time around. He's got a little bit of work to do if he's going to get there. There's that Webster and Vela battle that's now leaving the old hairpin, heading up towards the left-hander at Schwartz curve. This is the onboard view. Chance to listen as well to the fantastic engine note of the Civic. With the EP3 cars, he goes up on the inside of McLean's, takes the place back. It's been a real nip and tuck stra scrap between these two. The climbing now up to Coppice Corner. And just behind them as well, they have the number four car. Here's Danny Wynn Stanley then in the lead of the race, but only just behind him now is number 45, and that's Carl Swift. He's really slashed the advantage then in third place at the moment. You've got the number 17 car. Yeah, that's quite a nice car. Absolutely. Down the straight they go. There's Vela again. You can see in the background number four, that's Stu Neal. He's done some Rotax Max Kart racing in the past. And there's Sedjikovsky trying to forge a way through on the inside at Redgate Corner. Sajikovsky has made excellent progress here and he's up inside the top 10 now. That move puts him into ninth place. So, up another position he goes. How far can he get? There's a little bit of a gap to the cars ahead of him and Stu Neal's not done with this yet. Sajikovsky just uh, locking a wheel there as they headed through the old hairpin. So it's clear of Neal now heading towards the cars in front as we watch the battle for the lead of the race and Carl Swift getting alongside Danny Wynn Stanley here but he's on the outside line for the chicane we've seen earlier on that Swift can carry good speed out of the corner they get though and up into Redgate can he use that to his advantage here about a car length between them as they cross the line to start another lap up towards Redgate corner Swift pulls out of the slipstream now Wynn Stanley driving more or less up the middle of the road easing Swift wide can Swift get the cut back? Oh, there was almost a contact there. Maybe there even was, but uh, certainly very close. And Swift not able to get the cut back on Win Stanley down through Hollywood. Fastest lap of the race to Carl Swift as well. An excellent effort there. A 123.04. So that now is the new lap record for the two litre class. That equates to almost 85 miles an hour around this 1.95 mile Donington circuit. Here's Adam Shepard again in the 17 car, doing battle with number 91, which is Bernard Garley, of course, who uh, made the early running here. You can see Bernard's name on the rear of the car up ahead. He's turning his way through the right-hander. Now the climb up the hill. Garley at the 23-year-old from Malta has lost a place there to Adam Shepard. His second ever car race now. Look at this, the leader's still at it as well. It's still Win Stanley in front, but not by a heck of a lot from Carl Swift, who was 
actually a bit slower, just seemed to make a bit of a mistake coming out of the chicane that time. He's conceded a few car lengths to the race leader when Stanley will need no second invitation to try and convert that into a bigger lead. But Swift it is who set the fastest lap of the race so far. Not by very much, I have to tell you, because Dan Wynn Stanley has just done a 123.07 within three one hundredths of a second of his lap time. Here is the fight for third and fourth. Shepard it is that has just about clung on then from Bernard Garlier and a lap, a fastest lap, I should say, for Mark Anderson. That will be the lap record as well. That's within Class A for the 1.6 litre class. Mark Anderson doing really well here. He's just outside the top ten as we see a spin for number eight, which is uh, Peter Isherwood. Peter, who is well, going to be even further down the order than he already was. I think that will put him down into 19th position if he recovers in time. Garlier back in front of Shepard. What a great racing we're having in his opening Civic Cup meeting of the season. And the drivers now able to stretch their legs in these dry conditions. Shepard's not going to give up though, is he? Not the tidiest gear change there as they now come onto the uh, Dunlop straight, the exhibition straight, call it what you will. Soon to come into the braking area for the chicane. Shepard having a look up there on the inside of the door being left open by Garlier. And Shepard sails through. Nice move that one. And Shepard goes third. Closing stages of this race now. Bit of a flick of the lights there from the race leader number 78 to try and encourage one of the back markers out of the way because we are now on to the final lap here. Now here is Vela, number 89. Buying for position with the number 21 car, Daniel Webster, still they have been at it all race long and they are disputing now 8th and ninth positions because up ahead of them you see Luke Sajikovsky's gone through or oh, Webster now might as well throw in the towel because that mistake coming out of Redgate into Hollywood means he's lost about 15 car lengths all of a sudden Ray Cedar heading down the straight into the Robert Chicane for the final time and it's going to be a double for Danny Winstanley in the opening meeting of the season in the Tequila Import Civic Cup Championship over the line he goes now to take the chequered flag and it's a convincing win in the end over Carl Swift, but who is going to be third? Sliding, uh, both of them go over the gravel. They both come out in the same order as well. So it's going to be Swift second and Shepard to take third place with the fourth place car being Bernard Garlier. Confirmation of those results then. First of all, to Class A, the 1.6 litre class, and Mark Anderson again coming out on top with Peter Isherwood second despite his moment, David Buki in third place. As far as the 2 litre class is concerned, well, it was a win for Win Stanley by 5.25 seconds. Swift, Shepard, and Garley in the top four, then Endeff Owens was fifth, Rob Baker sixth, and from the back, Luke Sajikowski got seventh place. Danny wins Stanley, two wins in one day, can't be bad. No, I will absolutely over the moon. You had a different challenger this time round, Carl Swift was right on your tail there. Yeah, he was really quick in the dry, um, he was right on my tail all the race, but luckily again, he made, ended up making a mistake onto the uh, back straight, which gave me quite a bit of breathing space for the last three laps, so I was pretty lucky. <laughs> and this one was a little bit drier than earlier on, how are you finding that? Yeah, it was dry on the um, the racing line, uh, but on the first few laps, there's quite a lot of cars spinning because on the inside it was still really wet. So when they went to overtake, it caused them to spin and caused others to spin. So it was a bit hectic the first couple of laps. Carl Swift second place this time round, one better than the earlier race. Was that a good one for you? Fantastic. A uh, bit of a, a difficult first lap. Loads of people went off down craner curves, which in turn made me go off to avoid them, and came out of that in about seventh or eighth, and then just plucked them off one by one. Managed to get up behind Danny and really hunt him down, got side by side with him sort of two or three times but then just went wide on one lap, went in the gravel and, and he was gone then so I couldn't catch him after that, only two laps left. And without that mistake you probably would have got him done? Mm, he was defending well but I was trying hard, <laughs> definitely. But of course this is a new car for you this season, Are you pretty happy with how it's gone this weekend? Absolutely true, couldn't have gone better. Adam third place this time round, still two podiums today, you chuffed with how that went? Yeah not bad, Yeah, we um, struggled for pace a bit. Um, as soon as I see Danny and Carl go off in the distance, I knew I weren't quick enough to go with them. Um, made a few mistakes and got caught up in some stuff and ended a bit back. And I knew I'd set to kind of stay consistent to catch Bernard. Um, I managed to have a good battle with him at the end and luckily take first, so that was okay. 
track conditions this time round, getting a little bit drier out there now. Yeah, well, I was hoping for the wet again because it was quick in the wet. Um, but we went out with the same setup as the wet. We didn't realise how much it had dried out. So um, I don't know if that made a difference, but I had quite a bit of understeer, maybe me pushing too hard. But um, yeah, it wasn't too bad. But first time in the car this weekend, you now got to look to the rest of the year and uh, some good results coming up. Yeah, I'm yeah, pleased with how it went. For first meeting in cars, um, up to Brands Hatch next, which is quite local for us, so that should be okay. Yeah, hopefully uh, more of the same. Early days, of course, but this is how it leaves Class A in the Championship. Mark Anderson, of course, the perfect day. He has 50 points ahead of David Buki and Peter Isherwood, who are level pegging on 42. In the two-litre class, Danny Wynn Stanley has 50 points. Adam Shepard and Carl Swift shared the podium today, so they have 42 points apiece ahead of Endaf Owens, Bernard Garlier and Rob Baker. Well, that's all we've got time for from Donington Park. Do join us again next time at Brands Hatch. Bye for now.